Welcome to TheMarketCapitalist.com. I am Domenico Johnston. Today I'm going to be talking about free cash flow and operating cash flow and why it's important to you, the investor. When you're investing in a company privately or publicly through the stock market, it's important to consider what the company's historical free cash flow and operating cash flow is. Typically, when you're reading a paper or hearing a news story, they're quoting the company's quarterly or annual revenues to you. And this, you know, it could be very applicable to your investment decision, but it might be a little bit skewed because of potential aggressive accounting practices by the organization. This may or may not be happening. In either case, it's good to take a look at what the company's free cash flow is because it gives you a more accurate picture of what's going on in terms of actual cash coming in to the company. But if you take take a step back from that and look at operating cash flow, it gives you an even clearer picture at times. Uh, the example I want to use here is the actual standpipe behind me. Um, the standpipe here is an indication that a pipeline actually just recently has been installed. It's actually running beneath my feet. And the pipeline here is a capital expenditure for the owner of this property. The water that is getting to this corn to the right of me is because of the pipeline that's installed. If the pipeline wasn't installed, there'd be a more difficult process in terms of getting the water to the corn or whatever type of crop that's growing. So therefore, it's a good investment because it's a one, it's a long-term investment. It's not something that's going to be one year or five years. This is going to be who knows how many years installed here and providing water to whatever crop it is. So if it passes that test, okay, it's, it's a smart decision to invest this money in whatever type of capital project it is. You go to the next step and you say, well, if it is a smart decision, then should you hold it against the company? Obviously, you shouldn't. Now, this is where it gets to the point where free cash flow and operating cash flow um, separate. Operating cash flow is not going to take in any type of capital expenditure that's going on, whether it's a property or um, any type of company their capital expenditures aren't going to look be looked at as a negative in terms of operating cash flow. Free cash flow though, it's going to be taken out of free cash flow. So therefore, you know, you have the, this property here, you have one quarter, you know, the revenues or the free cash flow is whatever it is, and then you have the next quarter and you see a drop in free cash flow because this project went on. Well, if this project makes financial sense, you don't want to say, oh, the free cash flow dropped something must be wrong with the business. You want to actually look at operating cash flow and see that no, really cash flow is remaining constant or improving or whatever the case may be. It's just that there was a capital expenditure for a financially you know, sound or financially smart move and therefore operating cash flow becomes a more sensible way to gauge the performance of the business, the company, whatever you're looking at. So keep that in mind. The example here today with the, uh, the standpipe here that has the pipeline running underneath providing water to the crop in the field here, that's an example of a capital expenditure that would, in this quarter, impact the free cash flow of the company. And it's not something that you want to hold against it. You want to look at operating cash flow and see how that's holding up and then go ahead and look at free cash flow and investigate further there. So I thank you for tuning in. Uh, look forward to more videos coming soon. And um, check the blog. It's, I'm updating it daily. So thank you again.